today we're gonna look at some hatch reels and kind of the design improvements they made to the drag and the knob and the frame over the years and uh, see where they wound up now with their new iconic reel. Um, the oldest one I could, you know, round up in the shop was this monsoon. This would have preceded the original Fanatic reel. Um, <clears throat> and pretty much up until the iconic, all the hatch reels kind of had a set screw. I have it backed off now just for ease of the video um, that you would have to pull out. And then undoing that set screw would allow you access to the drag cavity. And if you look in there, you can see the stacked um, stainless steel washers with the um, synthetic material in between them. Um, really the only seal you had sealing this off from everything is this one O-ring right here around the top. Um, you had a high quality one-way bearing. I don't know if I can get this one out. There we go. That would sit in the middle. And obviously the bearing would only spin one way. So one way you're gonna have the free rotation of the spool. The other way you're gonna be working against all these drag washers. If you look deep in there, you can kind of see the exposed bearing on the on the frame side. It is sealed on this side. So never really saw too many problems with water intrusion on these. But really on 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 all the hatch reels, we didn't see too many problems with water intrusion. Um, really the only point it could get in was if water got through past the seal or through the set screw. So after they uh, kind of discontinued the monsoon, they came out with the Fanatic reel, the original generation of the Fanatic reel. Uh, this is a Gen 2. Uh, they call it the Fanatic because instead of these circle cutouts, um, they kind of came up with this fin design, which um, supposedly uh, strengthened the frame and allowed the maximum amount of material to be removed while still having a strong frame to make the reel more lightweight. Um, the Gen 1 version of the Fanatic didn't have this open kind of spot on the uh, on the knob. It, it was more like the Monsoon, which had a cap over it. And the reason they opened it up in the Gen 2 was that if the knob ever were to get wobbly um, with one of these guys, there was really no way to tighten it up because there was this cap on the other side. Uh, when they moved to this, you can get a uh, you can get a hex wrench on this side and one on the other side. So you were able to tighten up a knob that became loose. Um, the drag design was also updated a little bit where they said they added more more sealing and you can kind of see there's a little, little gap here that the other one didn't have. I still have that single O-ring around the top um, as far as the one-way bearing goes. There's another seal now on the back that wasn't on this guy. You had that open bearing that kind of sealed it off there. So, uh, you know, a little more, uh, just just a little less of a chance for water to, to get into this guy over the previous two versions. A uh, little bit of improvement on the, on the knob itself. Uh, when they came out with this, they, they kind of really went back to square one as far as the drag design goes. And I think it's a huge improvement. Um, you don't have this set screw anymore that you had on the other two. And you're not pulling out the drag cavity out of the, out of the back of the reel. And it's not, um, I mean, if you look at this, really there's no, no threads or anything. It's, you're just kind of relying on the precision fit of the O-ring and your drag stack to keep water out of there. And if this O-ring ever deteriorates, uh, you know, from UV or it gets, it got hot and heated up, maybe uh, a minuscule piece of sand or something got in there and started wearing it away. That's where your water's gonna get in. Um, now, uh, they gave us this wrench just because we're a shop. Uh, the one that you're, that's included with the reel is a little bit different, but it, it does the same job. Now you have the top of the drag housing unscrews, and there's a lot of threads here. Uh, you know, the more threads, the better as far as keeping water out. You have a massive O-ring on the bottom and a smaller one on top of it. And you can see that whole drag system's kind of been refined and redesigned in there. Uh, you still have the stainless steel washers, still have the synthetic material. Um, 
they made a wider but um, shallower one-way bearing very high quality sealed stainless steel one-way bearing and um, now everything for the drag is actually enclosed in the frame this this is part of the frame it's not a separate uh it's not a separate housing anymore so uh you know big big improvement in in my eyes right there the way that the uh the whole drag is encased in there and, and sealed in and you know now it's sealed in by by positive thread screws and two huge o-rings versus um you know just just a small one that was on the uh the hatch rails before and, and like i said um we hardly saw any problems with hatch reels at all as far as water getting in there um and now they've kind of made it made it bomb proof you know they kept the same <clears throat> the same style with the knob where you can get a wrench on this side and one on that side in case the knob were to ever loosen up um they did take um some material away from the arbor of the spool um whereas the uh every previous version uh this would have just been solid it does a couple things. It allows moisture to get away from the backing when the reel's drying, and it also lightens up the reel quite a bit. Um, before uh, nine weight rods, we would kind of pair them up with these seven plus reels just for weight wise. They seem to balance really well. Uh, with the new Iconic series, you can actually run a nine plus on a nine weight rod pretty easily, and you'll find that that will balance just fine, um, just with that extra weight that they that they took out of there. So. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about a hatch reel in the past or you have one and, and you like it and you know you didn't have any problems with it and you, is there a great company to work with as far as warranty why go warranty um goes and everything they uh this is a big improvement and uh you know if you're going on that vacation where you need a reel you're not gonna have any problems with i, I wouldn't hesitate to take this with me and fish it that's a that's a very beefy uh drag housing and the double washer system the way that's sealed off in there is is just about as good as anything you know i've seen out of any of the USA made seal drag reels. So uh, we have these uh, in stock at uh, bearsend.com. Um, this is the limited edition campfire orange color, but we have them in black and silver and um, you know, with the blue accents and the red accents. And uh, yeah, I think we pretty much have, have every one of everything in stock right now. So uh, if you like these videos and want to see more, you can click the like and subscribe button. That'll help us out a little bit. And uh, yeah, check them out at bearsend.com.